This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this Civic. It is a 2015 Honda Civic EX uh, Coupe, obviously a two-door. Uh, has 58,391 actual miles. This is a really interesting car. Uh, we purchased it last June of 2018. It was a theft recovery on a salvage title for an insurance company in California. Um, got here, had a little dent on the front of the hood, so we replaced the hood. I, I think we have the before pictures, but basically it had a little dent like right here and it, just enough to hurt the grill. So we replaced the grill, replaced the hood. Um, it looks brand new, nothing going on there, but the point of these videos is so you know what you're buying. Anyway, uh, we got the car all done and our one of our parts guys who works for uh, Watson Chevrolet, uh, parts delivery guy, uh, sales rep, saw the car and had to have it. So we sold it to him. Um, that was at 38,300 miles. Uh, basically almost exactly 20,000 miles ago he put 20,000 miles on doing his parts business um, in the last year loves the car uh, he said he put a set of tires on it a couple months ago um, the only reason he's traded it in is we had another uh, Honda Honda Accord a four-door he needed more space because he's doing more business so we got him a uh, uh, Honda Accord Sport and uh, traded him out so anyway we own the car again, and we know this car inside and out because we know the owner of it, the previous owner. Awesome car. Took in as a trade for a, two, for a 2016 Accord last week. Civic was sold June 18th to our Chevy Parts delivery sales rep. He loved this car, but needed four doors as his uh, sales trips were getting longer and involved more people. Sold a salvage theft to him in 2018. We restored the title then to restored salvage title. Um, I sent a check off to USAA who financed it for him, um, and Probably within the next week or two, we will get the title back um, in our name. Uh, it is our property, but uh, we have to wait about two weeks for it to go to Indiana, the check to get to Indiana, and then they uh, send us the title back. But uh, you don't have to worry about restoring this title because it's already been restored, and it's a hell of a car. We also know this car is great because the guy who uh, drove it is great. I think that he... These are pretty high tread tires, but they're, they're not two or three months old. They look like they're probably 50 or 60% tread, I would say. He's about 70 years old, Barry is, so <laughs> maybe a, a couple months is a couple years to him. Um, I remember when we bought it, the back glass was broken, so we had to replace the back glass, and I think that's probably why this happened, is they probably broke it and chipped that up, but... It's a great car. In fact, I'm very strongly considering getting my son out of the Mitsubishi Rally Art and giving him this car. Uh, a lot easier. His is black. This is white. It's Tucson. It's 5,000 degrees. Um, just a smarter car all the way around. All right. Let me give you some more information. Here's the Kelly Blue Book on the car. Um, Honda Civic EX two-door coupe with uh, 58,391 miles. Typical listing price of this vehicle would be 13.2 with a range of 11.9 to 14.2, okay? Let's see, what else we got going on here? Here is the Carfax history. Um, there's the VIN. Basically, the history and events affecting this vehicle's value. So they've combined the Kelly Blue Book and the history of the car, and it comes up with $12,120, okay? Here is the actual Carfax itself. There's the VIN. Rebuilt salvage. That's restored salvage is what I said. Um, theft. We sold it uh, 620 of 18 at 38,000 miles to parts delivery man. He traded in for a 2016 Accord. Uh, loved the car. Um, needed a four-door. So there's that. So here's the actual Carfax. Good service. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Let's see. It was stolen 117 of 18 and recovered 127. So it was only stolen for uh, 10 days back in 2018. And then we bought it for three of 18, right? And Barry bought it from us. I think I drove it for a little while too. Um, Barry drove it for us, from us, uh, 620 of 18, okay? And he did a couple services that they actually recorded. And that's that. All right, let's see, what else we got going on here? So you got a cargo plastic deal, WeatherTech thing in here. 
This is a nice car. Really good car. And it's the right color. All right, let's see. So we got locks. Unlock, right? All right, let me hop in here real quick. I gotta get to do some of these papers in my hand. Let me get this thing fired up. All right. Get some air going here. It is freaking hot as hell right now. All right, let's see. What do we got going on here? Open the hood. replace this hood we actually fixed this hood because this is see how this right from here to here it had a little dent in about that big because we still have the original stickers on it and everything so really it wasn't that bad it was like right there so we just fixed the edge of it and replaced the uh, the grill there you go not much to look at really just a little, little gas saving motor Runs great. All right, let's see. Let's open the back seat first. Not much to look at there. Just a back seat. Some sort of a cover for probably the hatch or something. There's some sort of a owner's CD there. It says. Uh, window up and down let's see oh you can't do the door locks when the doors are open because they won't let you lock yourself out of your own car so when I close the doors I can demo the door locks so there's that let's see if I can get the camera underneath here pretty, pretty low to the ground but maybe my brother's gonna take uh, 60 to 80 HD pictures of this vehicle um, you see a little magnifying glass icon that you can drag over anything you see in that video and zoom in using that. I encourage you to do that if cosmetics are, cosmetically this thing is awesome. It looks great. I mean, inside and out. It looks like it's got a hell of a lot fewer miles than 58,000 too. I mean, if you were to tell me this thing at 10,000, I'd be going for it. All right, let's get the air conditioning. Holy cow, it's freaking hot. Get my seatbelt on here. Alrighty then. More air. Holy cow, it is swampy. Alright, so there's the there's the uh, odometer. It says 58,423 miles. Alright. Let's see. Oh my god, I forgot how you work this radio on this car. Make sure you tap follow so you don't miss a thing. iHeartRadio is number so, one for podcasts. It's easy to see why. Find the wrong so There's the steering control, right? I'm turning it up and down here. Change the station. So, there you go there. Let's see. I don't know how to work this thing. There. All right, let's see, you got the radio, of oh, the <laughs> radio. You got the fan. Let's see what else we got. We got an HDMI right there. HDMI right there and a USB right there. Power outlet right there, right? I think we got another, yeah, we do. It's got another um, USB right there. He, he's kind of anal, so he put this dash this dash mat on here which is actually a good idea in Tucson it keeps a little bit cooler in here let's see it's a roof Look at that. let's see how do you work that there you go boom boom I'm not even sure if it's got lights in it probably doesn't huh I don't think it does Cruise control, 
There's cruise on and off. That's right here. You got Bluetooth phone going on. All kinds of stuff. I think we have a tilt wheel in here somewhere, if I can figure it out. It does have Tiptronic paddle shifters back here. Uh, anyway, let's go for a ride. All right. Since we've already restored the title on this thing, I don't have to give the restore speech. Um, it is on a restored salvage title already, so you won't need to get, pay us to restore the title. So if you come to Tucson Drive at Home, you'll pay tax, which is your state tax rate, whatever that is, um, plus our city of 2.7%, and you'll pay a $250 dock fee. If you decide to pay by wire and ship this vehicle out of Arizona, all you're gonna pay is the group home price. There'll be no uh, tax, no dock fee, nothing. If you do pay by wire and ship out of state, once we receive full payment by wire, we will fill out the title with your name or your company's name and address. Um, sign it off to you, scan it into your online file, and mail it to you. We even scan in the envelope we mail it in. Um, so the whole point of our videos and our ads is to make sure that everything's very transparent. Um, you know what's going on. You know every bit as much as we know about the vehicle uh, from the paperwork, uh, its history, mechanics, cosmetics, everything. So you make right hand turn and it gives you the, it's got a camera on the right side so you don't wreck. Um, there you go, pretty cool, huh? Um, what else? La, 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 la. Anyway, you'll have the vehicle shipped to you. We'll mail you the title. The title will usually almost always get to you before the, uh, the vehicle does from your shipper. Once the shipper shows up with your vehicle, you'll take the title you got from the mail and go get plates, it's simple. Deposit is $500. Once we have an agreed upon price, please get your deposit in. Once we have that deposit, we'll put your name in a banner over the vehicle at wheelkinetics.com and you and the whole world will know that it's yours and it's no longer for sale. Um, once, we, uh, once we have that uh, uh, deposit, it uh, shuts everyone out, okay? So that uh, it's no longer something for you to worry about. Uh, but uh, if we don't have a deposit, we will sell it to somebody else. Okay, so make sure you get your deposit in. What else? Uh, the warranty speech. If you watch any of the thousands of videos I've done over the last 12 years, uh, about the end of the video, last two or three minutes, look at any video we have online right now, I'll say this. We don't have salesmen, we don't have bottled water with our name on it, we don't have a lounge to hang out in, we don't have a snack bar and a game room. They got all that crap at Precision Toyota, right down the street. Um, and it's free, except for the fact that they put it in the price of the vehicle, so it's not free. It's similar to the free beer at, uh, in Vegas that costs you five grand when you get your ass kicked at the casino. <laughs> it wasn't free. It was free. It was free when she handed it to you, but it wasn't free when you left. All right? So uh, we're not charging you for that. So our prices are lower. Our price all on this truck, this truck, this car will also be lower because of the history of the vehicle, obviously. And... Another thing that they charge you for that you don't realize is future repairs. When they price the vehicle at Precision Toyota or any of the big independents, they know you're gonna come in with a broken car at some point and want it fixed. So they add, you know, $500, $400, depending on how good the car is, um, to the price of the vehicle. Um, so that they can fix your car and not have to pay for it. You paid for it up front. Uh, we don't do that, okay? We don't, we're not paying we're not charging you for future repairs because we're not going to fix your car. Your car is your car on day one. This is a Honda Civic that's been driven by somebody who knows a lot about cars, traded it in for another Honda because he needed an extra set of doors, okay? This vehicle is nice, okay? So please make sure that uh, you take care of it, change the oil, change the filters, you'll be fine for a long, long time. Um, that being said, if something does break, you're gonna pay for it to get fixed. Uh, I can't even imagine what that would be. This thing runs great. It'd be a great car for my son. Get him out of that black Mitsubishi Rally Art Turbo thing that cost me too much money on insurance and put him in this. Yeah. Anyway, uh, another thing. As you can see, we sold four or five in the last hour, but we're still packed. Um, this is about the time of month, mid-August, where we start selling really fast, so this won't be a problem in a week. We're right now take advantage of the fact that we're busy uh, with car. We are, we're packed with cars, and we need to get space because um, once that's once we're hurting for cars, the price will go up a little bit. Right now, we've got cars and trucks going everywhere, so that'll help to keep the price down too. I think that's it. Thank you for your time.